Hello and welcome to me, Dazblade. And today I'm coming to you from the Brokrock SMP. Now, <laughs> I think I might have been pranked again. I just didn't go outside my front door to see what's out there. So, uh, <laughs> we're going to have a look in a second. Let me just get my... In fact, no, I'm not going to put my armour back on just yet. I'll put it on in a minute. Let's get out there and let's go and investigate. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the... What? What is... <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh, it's a scarecrow, isn't it? Obviously. Got to be a scarecrow. But... Oh, this is going to take ages to... Oh, gosh. Oh, there's another Scarecrow on that side. Let's have a look, see who he is. Scarecrow. That face looks familiar. Mr. Evil Judd. Evil Judd edited my Acacia sign. <laughs> Evil Judd is now a scarecrow. Oh, God, look at all this. Look at all this wheat. Right, there's some signs down here. Let's go and have a look, see what they say. We heard you need wheat. Hope this helps. If you would like a smaller nano farm with automatic bone meal, please contact Mr. Moff Gaming, also known as Kai, and the Jackster, Kai and Jax, what a pair. The dynamic duo strike again. Oh, dear. Look at this. Unfortunately, all this is going to have to come down because it needs to go back to how it was. So, I thank Kai and Jax for all this, um, all this wheat because people are starting to know now that I need... Lots and lots and lots of wheat. So that's brilliant of them. Thanks, Kai. Thanks, Jax. And now I'm going to clean up your mess. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So I've cleaned up this side. Just got to clean up that side now. And also as well, while I'm at it, I'm taking this layer of dirt as well because I need loads of dirt and I wanted to flatten this out anyway so it was all level here. So, yeah, that's where a zombie creeped up on me when I wasn't paying attention. Because, you know, zombies like to creep up on Dazblade, and zombies like to blow Dazblade up. We all know this. So, all I need to do is finish the rest of this clean up. I'm keeping these scarecrows. Uh, when I say I'm keeping them, I don't mean I'm keeping them here. They're going to be dismantled, but they're mine now. Yes. I'll consider it payment <laughs> for this time-consuming job that I'm doing. Although, it is good because I've got loads and loads of wheat out of it. Still got all this wheat to collect as well. So, you know, Kai and Jax, you little rapscallions, you. Oh, I, I order. But, hey, it's all good. You gave me loads and loads of wheat, and you gave me the excuse for... Finally taking this layer of dirt down on both sides because I've been divering over that for a while because, you know, I, I, I don't tend to diver over things. I tend, you know, I'm a bit of an action taker. I take direct action and I get on with stuff. But for some reason, I was like divering with this. Hmm, not like me. Ooh, some arrows over there. That must have been from um, a skelly that died just before I went and slept, just after the zombie creeper blasted me. Right, let's get back to this. <laughs> right, okay, so we've collected all, all the wheat now. We've also leveled that side, that side even, of the ground, of the dirt. We want to level down this side as well, just like by the block, just so it's like level with this and then i was thinking of maybe putting fence in either side of the paths or i don't know maybe the either side of the paths don't need anything i don't know i have to think about that but yeah definitely going to get rid of this dirt 
shots, but it also leaves this looking a bit, bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Janky? A bit not right? Yeah, so I'm going to do something, maybe put some steps along here and along. In fact, actually, yeah, we could do that. Can we put steps all the way round? Thing. Hang on a minute. Just have a quick look. What have I done here? That's that level. Oh, I see. No, actually, no. Hmm. Hmm. I dig all that up. And then I'd have to do another row of that round here, which will then line up with this. And then we could put steps all around. So, yeah, what we could do then, let's just like make a little bit of a, a marker. And a man if road should we come out. So this will have the steps. So we need to flatten all this out. Hmm. And if we come out, say one, two, three rows, four rows there. Let's see. What would we do? just do it and of course the added bonus is that we're getting more dirt to turn into mud so mud uh sorry dirt and wheat but what we're going for loads of oh, i need to go and get another spoon donor let me just uh finish this up so and then Go away, dirt! <laughs> For now. Uh, yeah, so you get the idea, kind of thing. So then I'll come all the way around, won't it? And obviously, these dirt will be replacing with never right. And let's have a look here. So basically, all this stuff. All this dirt all the way to where I've drawn that marker line over there right okay let me just get that side flattened out and then yeah we'll come back to this in a minute I mean I say a minute you know it'll be like a few moments for you but obviously it's gonna be a long time for me catch you later okay that's that lot completed anyway as you can see behind me and the next thing I need to do now is just get rid of that dirt around that pulling, 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 pumpkin and melon farm. And I think we're going to put acacia steps around. Not evil acacia, mind you. We don't want to use, be using no e evil acacia. We'll leave that for Judd. Um, what we're going to be doing is putting normal acacia around there, around there, <laughs> around there. Oh look, oh look, an oak tree's grown. <laughs> so, let me crack on and get that done now. So we've removed all this dirt from around this pumpkin melon farm, melon farm, and we now need to get some Neverac to fill in these gaps. Yeah, that's the underfloor lighting you see in there. Uh, we need to get some Acacia steps and some Neverac, and let's just uh, polish this thing up. It's coming along quite nicely. And as usual, I'm getting a bit <laughs> carried away with things. Uh, so instead of putting a fence either side of this uh, nice little walkway path here, I decided to line it up with sunflowers on either side. On, on either side. But they're not lined up. So they're sort of like one miss one, one miss one on each side. 
just so it gives that bit of extra mm, something something one of those words that um, has not been invented yet for how incredible this looks <laughs> i'm joking of course but i am happy with it in the world seriousness it does um i think it does look a bit different than what you would expect to see and i think if i put fences there it'd probably just be a bit too much i think but what i want to do now is i want to uh, well it's dark isn't it so what i want to do is i want to pop to bed get some sleep get rid of this darkness because we can't be working at night time because i would get absolutely hammered and when i say hammered i mean i'd i mean i'd be killed wrecked blasted by creepers shot by skeletons bitten by spiders and ripped apart by zombies so this is what i'm gonna do let's just put some steps here on our hot bar and we're gonna go bump 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 and we're gonna go all the way around i want that there oh i do why do you do that just silly sugar cane and steps and what's getting me what's got me oh run away i'm not fighting with those but anyway, you get the general idea. So I'm going to put all the steps all around. So I'm going to quickly get that done and I'll show you what it's like when we've done it. Okay, clean up complete, job done. Little additional bits done, some flowers down the path. And we got these stairs all around here now. And with the never rack in there, the never rack and the acacia, I just think it goes together really, really well. This does look better than I expected it. I mean, I wanted to do something different, which is why I chose the Neverack, Neverack, rock, rock, Neverack. That's why I chose the Neverack. Um, and the acacia, um, just the orangeness and the gradient redness of the Neverack, it just really does look nice. I'm really happy with that all come together nicely it's all coming together nicely so yeah so everything's looking good now and i'm quite happy need to get some rest <laughs> okay so i've made a minor change to my mud farm i've added an extra feature so that i don't have to manually fill the water anymore so the water bottles automatically fill themselves the only thing i couldn't work out how to do was how to automatically break the mud block I tried with pistons against cactus, window panes, uh, carpets on top of hoppers, uh, pushing down on the mud block, but nothing seems to break it, or at least nothing that I can uh, work out. So obviously with my limited <laughs> knowledge, I'm hoping and wondering if anybody out there knows of how mud blocks can be automatically broken. You know, in the same sort of like fashion when um, when you use a, a piston on a pumpkin and melon farm, you know, to break the pumpkins and melon. So as far as I know, mud blocks can't be automatically broken, so I still have to manually mine the mud. Um, but let's uh, let's show you what, what I've done. Um, I've made it look pretty as well, made it nicer. So all this red area is the 8x8 or 64 blocks that pushes it out. So I still have the pistons pushing it out here, but let's have a look at how we do this. It still works exactly the same way, but we've automated the water bottles. So if I stand about here, you'll see the movement across there and you'll see the water bottles up there. You see the water bottles flowing nicely. And this will keep going. And yeah, so it's um, it, it's a, a, bit, a bit more efficient than what I previously had. And I do believe it is actually quicker as well um, because I don't have to spend time filling up water bottles and then loading the water bottles into the chest and so on. That's all, that's all taken care of now. 
which is nice. So let's get these blocks finished off. Okay, that gives me a stack of mud, so let's... And I'll explain what I did here. I've used terracotta on this floor because initially I was just going to leave it as dirt. But when I was doing this, mining um, the mud blocks, it was breaking up all the dirt floor as well, so I kept to fill in the dirt again. But now I'm using these terracotta blocks. No problems there. So let's just... Um, got a little table here with all my kit on. Um, I hadn't decided though whether I should turn this into a have it enclosed in a building or leave it out in the open like this. Um, I'm not sure because when that castle's built, if I have it enclosed, if I have this enclosed in a building, then it might not look as good because it is quite close to the castles let's see the frame of the beginnings of the uh, castle where I've templated it out a little bit so you know that might just look better still being kept in the open like that but what I'm doing over here with the castle this this is going to be the entrance by the way um, but what I'm doing here I'm, this lake that I built here I'm going to extend it so it comes around and it's going to be really, really deep or I'm going to give it the effect to make it so it looks like it's really, really, really deep. Um, and I'm guessing you can probably guess how I'm going to do that when you look at this bit here. So, mouldy cobblestone, m m mossy, co <laughs> mossy cobblestone um, is going to be in this corner because obviously it's going to have all water around it so you'd expect to see some mossy stuff going up the sides there um but yeah i need to get that um get that uh get that arranged better and then make a make a start on getting this uh big castle built because this is going to be the main base when it's done let's just have a quick look um i mean we're not doing too bad now for blocks oops that was same chest <laughs> so i've got again quite a few uh, materials and yeah we'll see how, how that goes but now now it's time remember this remember remember you remember jord samurai jord samurai jord called my acacia evil so we're going over to jord's place now um, we're going to do a little prankage there. So I'm going to get over there. I've got a, a shulker box with all my materials in that I need. And we're going to get over there. So here we are at Judd's base. I've just been uh, setting up um, a nice little work area, so to speak. And yeah, uh, just cleared some spruce trees. Probably going to clear these spruce trees as well. Maybe some around there um but this is the starting point let me show a box of stuff there a little bed there so i'm going to uh crack on and get this sorted out Cage, yeah let's go it's kind of starting to take shape um yeah it's uh it's, it's okay this is progress so far um yeah i've just got to finish some bits and bobs but can you tell what it is yet of course you can't i'm hoping once uh, <laughs> once i put the next bits on um which should more or less complete it but hopefully it looks like what i intended it to look like so let's crack on my job is complete. The prankage is done. And I think if we have a little fly around, we can um, have a look at, see what the finished product looks like. Probably. But first of all, 
need to stop throwing things at my hand and uh, get some get some kit. No, we don't want to do crafting. We want to get some kit. Get rid of the uh, ghoulies and ghosties and whatnot, and zombies and stuff like that. And let's tech to the skies and let's have a look at it. Here it is. You've seen those uh, like helium bloom things, haven't you? That go wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly. Well, this is evil wibbly wobbly acacia jud. That'll sort him out. That'll teach him. Don't prank with me because I will prank you back in a disproportionate level. I mean, what did he do to me? He changed one word on one sign. So what do I do to him? <laughs> Build this. <laughs> and we'll leave that there for him to uh, come and see himself. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the sign, evil wibbly wobbly acacia jud. <laughs> Signed by my initial. This is not a bad view here. From his uh, peer. Evil Acacia Jud. <laughs> Evil Wibbly Wobbly Acacia Jud. <laughs> At last, Dogblade has found his way here. He has arrived. If you remember from last episode, if you watched it, then you'll know that we. I uh, went out hunting myself and Love Dust for Dogblade and we wasn't very successful. And if you didn't watch it, why not? Go watch it. Go watch it. <laughs> but yeah, Dogblade has found his way here. We went out hunting again. I found him. Then I lost him. Then he found me. <laughs> and then I brought him home. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the footage of that search. But go check out the video from Love Dust because she has that footage. So we now have Dog Blade and it's all good. Yay! Dog Blade, Dog Blade, Dog Blade. Who's a good boy, Dog Blade? Yes, you are. You're a good boy. I believe Evil Acacia Judd is quite possibly now complete. I've added some black carpet, um, which kind of looks like a bit of an outline if you if you look at it but basically what that's done is spawn proofed him so no nasty mobs can spawn on him or inside his head or anything and i've also added the evil eyebrows now i don't know whether to put another black block there and another black one there black wool should i say um will that make the eyebrows too thick Will it make him still look evil or will it make him look different? You know what? Shall we just try it and see what it looks like? Okay, so I've made a little adjustment to the eyebrows. So let's see what that looks like. Hopefully we get the desired evil effect. Hmm. Not sure. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Does it? Uh, so, I mean, if it had just been one block, one block there in the center, it might have looked okay. What if we remove those two blocks from there and make? But then again, that's going to put black on the side of his head then. You know what I mean? Because that block is also the side as well. So if I remove that block there and put a black one in, hmm, let's move. Let's let's go and remove those and and just have a quick look. You know what? I think that looks a bit better. Shall we just have a little fly and? See what it looks like when we're up in the air. Let's 
have a loo. Where's he gone? Who is there? Let's just get over here. Then we can... This is awesome, by the way, Judd. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> anyway, concentrate. Um... Yeah, okay. I like it. I like it, that. And as you can see, spawn proofed um, his wibbly wobbly arms. As you can see there. Uh, closed his fingers off with some trap doors. Adjusted his fingers as well. So he's all completely spawn proofed. Oh! Wow, I felt went straight for the bloody scaffold in there. <laughs> Good gosh. What am I like? But yeah, I'm happy with this. I think all we need to do now is probably spawn proof his head with some carpet. <laughs> and he's not landed on it. What am I like? I thought I'd got I thought I'd got better at this flying lot malarkey. Come on. Let's quickly land. Yeah. Yay! We did it. So let's uh Yeah, let's let's see if we can spawn proof this. And the top of Evil Judd's head is spawn proofed as well now. And I think we're about done with this. I think we're done with it now. Properly done with it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I think I'm happy with evil wibbly wobbly Acacia Judd. He's looking he's looking wibbly wobbly. Um he's looking Acacia and he's looking evil. So I think our work is done ever. So uh, we'll have to wait to see uh, see what Judd thinks about this. Don't forget to watch his video to um, catch his reaction to this. And yeah, I think I shall head back to base now. Okay, back home. That was good fun doing that, that build. It took a really long time, but you know, it was fun. I can't wait till Judd sees it uh, to see what his uh, reaction is to my disproportionate reaction <laughs> to his, his little prank changing one word on my side. And that's what, how I repay him. Okay, well, I think that's all that we've got time for for today. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!